Hey there and welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco and I do Daz 3D tutorial videos to help you to get the most out of your own Daz 3D renders. Uh, you may or may not be aware, but Daz Studios have released version 4.20 of the software. And with it, there's a couple of new features, uh, one of which is volumetric effects or volumetrics, volumetric fog, you might hear it called. Uh, now, what is that? Well, volumetrics is a clever little way to model and render such things as fog and clouds and smoke and the like. You'll often see it used, for instance, in God rays where sunlight shines through a window, say, and you get this fog effect where the light shafts uh, are coming through either through the window or maybe in tree branches, you see, and it all looks pretty swanky. Uh, well, now we have it in Daz, and in this video, I'm going to take a quick look at it, show you how to implement it within Daz itself, and finish off with a quick render where I'll do the render without any volumetrics, and then I'll do the same render. I'll add a little bit of volumetric fog into it, uh, and then we'll see how it comes out, and we can see what kind of difference it can make to your renders. Now, a little disclaimer here. Uh, I'm doing this video basically an hour or so after downloading and installing 4.2 or so this won't be an in-depth tutorial on what every button and slider does uh it's just showing you what we're working with how to get it working within daz uh and then we'll get back to doing something a little bit more you know detailed later on down the line in a different video uh, but for now we'll just get it in and we'll just start from there now, before you can use volumetrics in Daz, you're going to need all the bits and pieces that you need to be able to do it. Uh, first of all, you'll need to download Daz 4.20, uh, which you'll be able to find in DIM or in Daz Central. I've never used Daz Central, so I don't know how that works. Or you can download it manually from the Daz website. Uh, likewise, you'll also need this default resources for Daz Studio 4.2+. plus. Uh, that's got the various shaders in there that you need for volumetrics. Finally, also, volumetrics is part of iRay. Uh, so if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card, you will need to download your new uh, and the latest drivers for your graphics card that you've got also. If you... Now, there are a couple of ways we can implement volumetrics within DAS. A simple way and a more complicated way. Uh, the simple way is actually, I think, has been in DAS for a couple of iterations now. If we come across to Render Set and then down to our Environment tab, and we come right the way down here to Ground Fog. I've not really messed about with this before, but uh, if we click that to On, uh, what we get if we scroll down, we get all these little options come up about Ground Fog. Now, what that means is if we pop across to NVIDIA IRA, uh we've got this now this little fog area if i turn the fog off you can see it vanishes and if i turn the fog back on wherever the thing's gone we can see that it applies this fog area now that doesn't look much and to be honest this is why i never messed about with it previously it doesn't do much however if i was to drop a character into this scene we can then start to play around with a couple of the sliders. Uh, if we come across to ground fog decay start and we start to lift that up, uh, you can start to see now this fog is going up our model's body. It's actually starting to get encased somewhat by the fog. If we go really high, you'll be able to see that. Uh, won't go that high with it. Uh, and likewise, if we, we come across to the, the slider below that ground fog density start, scale we can either thicken that fog up by going higher up the scale or we can go the other way and uh, create a less dense fog if that's what we want to do and then if we then add an environment into the scene and fiddle around with the light in a little bit we can end up with a quite a decent little scene doing very simple with a little bit of fog uh, and that's just using the simple method with volumetrics. And so using the uh, the ground fog within DAS is the simple implementation of DAS. And as I said, I think it's been in there a couple of versions of DAS. Uh, the more complex version, the bit that's now just been added into 4.2, uh, we need to do a little bit extra, a little bit extra work to be able to get that to work. Uh, and what we need to be able to do, first of all, is we need to provide a container for our volumetric to sit within. So if we come up to create, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna create a new primitive and I'm gonna make a cube six foot by six foot in size. And we've got our cube there. 
Now, the reason for this, if you remember when we did the, the ground fog, it basically did it universal across the all of our scene. And you couldn't really do much about that from what I could tell. Uh, but with the uh, the volumetrics that's now being introduced, introduced in 4.2, we can contain it within an area. And so, therefore, we can create the cube like what we get now. Now, the next thing that we need is we need the shader for the volumetrics. Uh, and we get that in two ways, two things we have to do. With our cube selected, if we come down to surfaces and then just click on the cube in the, the, the surfaces tab, we then need to come over to our content library uh, and then where we've got our assets and everything that we've got stored. Now, in me, I've just got it set up here in my Daz tutorial file, just so I know where we are. But if you open up your content folder, you'll have a similar directory structure to this. And what you're looking for is shader presets, which you can see down here. Uh, that's where your characters are, your models are when you're looking for your models. Shader presets is a couple of steps down. Give that a click, open it up, look for iRay in there open that up and now if you have installed that DAS Essentials 2 for 4.2 plus what I mentioned at the beginning of the video you will have now something in there called DAS Volume and if you click on that you will see this simple open VDB MDL volume what that is is the shader it's the shader that we need to have our uh, volumetrics working in DAS make sure we got cube selected over here as I mentioned and then double click on the shader and what you do, your cube will go transparent. You'll see through it. What that's saying is that the shader is now being added uh, to the cube, and that's how it's going to look when we first uh, apply it. And now the final thing that we need uh, to get our volumetrics working is something known as a VDB file or a volume database file. And what that is, it's it's a small, it's like like one of your assets in the, like a model or a skirt or a you know something that you find within DAS. it's just a little file that's a little 3d file that just describes the volume that we're going to be using and the the, the effect that we're going to be trying to do now at the moment uh on currently on the DAS store at the time of recording this video there's one vdb file available and that is to do with some if you've been around there's some rocket launcher and there's a whole lot of smoke coming off the bottom there's a vdb file that describes the nature of that smoke uh, and what we need to do is we need to take a VDB file like that and apply it uh, to our container, in this case, the cube that we're going to be using. Now, there are various VDB files available on the internet, which you can find. I've actually got my hands on one that somebody posted on the DAS store, so I'm going to be using that one in this example. I will actually leave a link to it also down below if you want to get it yourself. Uh, but, or you can create your own in something like Blender. Uh, I don't know how to do that, so don't ask me on that score. Uh, so I'm going to use one now. So what you need to do, you need to come across to this volume file once you're on cube and services into volume file give that a click and come down to browse and then browse to it on your drive where you have the the file that you've got this is the one that i'm going to be using this is the one i've just downloaded and again you can find the link down below i'm going to open that up and as you can see it gets added into this volume file section over here but nothing changes in our viewport if you notice to actually see any kind of change, we need to come across to the IRA preview again. Give that a click. And you can just make out this little black smudge. Uh, looks like a little spray painted smudge or something that you can see on the screen there. Doesn't look up to much at the moment, I'll admit. Uh, but what that is, that is the volumetric that we're going to be using in our uh, scene. Uh, it needs light and it needs to be densed up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create... A light source uh, we'll just do a point light apply it at the camera where I am and give that a click and then with the point light selected we'll come down to lights and we'll just give it a little bit of brightness stick a couple of zeros on there a couple of more just to brighten it up so you can see now it's starting to go a bit white it just needs quite a bit of light mind starting to go light again uh, if we have a, just a little quick pan round of that we can see you know the structure of the the volumetric that we're going to be using now one thing that we'll need to do here if we, again if i click on the cube and then come back down to surfaces uh, on the the options that we've got for the vdb if we come down to this density multiplier uh, and just start increasing this this will actually you know make it a little more dense so you can start to to see now the uh 
the volumetric itself takes shape. Uh, that seems all locked up a moment there. Go back to get rid of that. Uh, we'll give that, keep making it a little bit dense. And you can see that the, there is a structure there now that we've got, which is a, a bit, you know, it's a cloud. It's something you would find in the sky. Uh, but of course, we can play with this and manipulate this to, to have it work in the way that we want it to work. Now, one of the ways that we can manipulate our volumetric fog or our cloud is by adding light into it. Uh, the beauty of volumetric lighting is that when you add light or shine light into it, that light actually scatters through the cloud. So if I come in now and just start adding a few lights in, uh, if I zoom into the cloud itself, go create point light, uh, apply light. There's our light that we've just added into this. Uh, and what I will do with light selected, I'll add a few zeros onto its brightness. And then we'll change its color to, say, red. We now start to get a red effect now. I think my original light's a bit too bright now. I'll just take that original light down a bit. We now start to get a little bit of red light into our uh, scene. Uh, when you get the balance right between your, your main light that's lining it up and the red light, you can get this now, you know, you can see the light is, you know, scattering through the cloud that we've got. Uh, move that about, I'll come in, I'll add another light into this. Let's uh, here, create point light, uh, perspective view, come back out, oops, one way, come back out. Uh, add a few zeros again to brighten it up. Uh, probably a bit too bright that one, it's over. So now we get the two of them blending together. Uh, and if I was to change it to a blue, sir, we now start to get our lights blending together. Uh, just need to get the, the balance right between the colours themselves. You know, you can end up with these nice little multicolored effects where all the light just scatters throughout the clouds and creates these nice lovely effects. So, of course, you can use something like this for some kind of effect within your scenes that you were going to be using them in. We'll put another one in. Come back out, add a few zeros onto its brightness. And then, again, it's possibly a bit too bright, so knock one off. Uh, make this a nice bright green and so our volumetric light can be lit up in all various ways as our light scatters amongst the cloud and creates these nice little effects that we can get now what does this mean when it comes to using volumetrics in our scenes therefore uh, what you're looking at here on screen is just a, a little image that i knocked up for this uh this video in particular uh but i built it with volumetrics in mind so when we don't have the a bit of ground fog which i put into it or a bit of atmospheric fog it looks a bit yeah it doesn't quite look right it wouldn't be something i'd be happy with normally uh however if we come over to into DAS again and we have a look at what we've done, I've created two VD, VBDs here. Now, these are the exact same volumetric as we used in the coloured light animation that we just saw a, a minute or so ago. Uh, but what I've done, if we turn on the what I've called the floor VBD, uh, if you look at it, I've increased the scale uh, quite large, but I've, I've squashed it down also to two and a half so that that same cloud is now squashed into a small area, which I've got here which you can see on the screen here uh so it's going to give a bit of a ground fog or a, a bit of a ground covering we've also got an air vbd which again is the same uh volumetric that we used previously and what i've done with this one if we just swap them over i've put this one in the background in the air and again i've increased the size of it but squashed down the scale a little bit so that it doesn't go too too crazy uh and I've taken the lights out of both of these as well. So it's just going to be a plain white or a, a light colored uh, fog. If we switch them both on in DAS, we can now see we, we've got a bit of a covering all over the place. And if now we go back to our image and we look at the, the image without the fog, and then we transition over now to with the fog, that's the type of effect and the difference that you can make between one image and another, just when you're adding volumetrics and fog.
And so that is a quick introduction into volumetrics that you can now find in DAS 4.2. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I've only been messing about with it for an hour or so. Uh, and in a later video, I'll, I'll start getting into the, all the, the nitty bitty things, the, the sliders and the other values you can play around with. Uh, I just thought I'd give you this quick introduction because with something new like this, there's always the questions of how do we do this? How do we do that? Well, hopefully you've gotten something out of this video and you can start having a play around with it yourself now. If you have any questions about volumetrics or any questions about DAS in general then don't forget to knock them down below into the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can and while you're down there make sure you hit that like button as that really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and while you're there already if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing as I appreciate that a hell of a lot uh, so there we have it volumetrics I hope you got something out of it and I'll see you next time bye bye now